the tricky thing about the rods though ow is that for one hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is amore love welcome if you're not subscribed please subscribe thank you today i'm gonna show you how i do this twist out i did this twist out i'm gonna give you step by step on how to get the waves on your real hair no heat overnight but i'm gonna show you let's get started y'all like my shirt anyways okay so first things first i did already wash my hair i used the rice water bar shampoo by viori 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 and then um i conditioned my hair with the overnight hydration conditioner this is from Mayel. i always want to say Mayeli. is it not Mayeli? that would make me so sad or it might be my L. <laughs> I'm using this. It smells really good. It says Hawaiian ginger. I can see that. It's definitely giving tropical vibes, perfume, hotel lobby. Not in the Santal kind of way, but like a tropical kind of way. It smells phenomenal. If you want a conditioner that's gonna make your hair smell good, get this one, because it's an overnight one and it's moisture, moisture, moisture. So you can actually sleep in this, unlike a protein mask. So now we're going to re-wet our hair. I do have my mystifying water bottle. I will leave this link below. You know, really cool. I'm gonna leave all these products linked below in the description. We're gonna start with one side. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my twist out. Normally, I do do this in the shower though. I'll also be using these white rods. I only have six on me. So hopefully I can finesse three on each side. I don't really know how that's gonna go though, but yes. This is my hair, it's super wet. It is drenchified with conditioner in it right now. Since I'm gonna drenchify myself, I'm gonna get a handy dandy towel and I'm gonna clip it. Should I use a pink clip? Um, excuse my makeup, y'all. It is midday and I did a rush job, so. But I do wanna re-wet this part though, because I need it to be really wet. Like I said, I do this in the shower on drenched soaking wet hair okay soaking wet hair. i'm not gonna do perfect partings at all because you don't want like perfect lines in your head when you take these out especially if you're not gonna flip them up which i don't flip them up because my hair just naturally gets so damn poopy how do i want to do this though because i only got six rods and i do need them to be fairly the same i'm basically filling out so i can have the same ish amount of hair per like thickness so that when the twists do the twist thing it'll be fairly even size and not all over the place. I'm gonna do this section as one twist and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side too and it's gonna be a flat twist. And then I'm gonna do maybe another long section and then leave out the middle piece because I've done no middle piece. I've done it in two sections before and I couldn't get that center part lined out the middle of my head. So yeah, um, now I'm gonna take my brush and detangle. I may need to wet it some more because when I say wet, wet, I mean wet, wet. See the white stuff is hella conditioner my hair. Normally when the conditioner is in my hair in the shower and I'm done doing all the twists, I actually rinse the conditioner all the way out while holding the bottom of the twists. First thing you want to do is to get a first section like this and I'm going to take it like that. Okay. Normally, I do like to start on my better side, which is my right side. I don't know if the camera is being flipped right now, but this is my right side. And my twists normally are amazing on that side. If you do not know how to get your twist the exact same on both sides, start with the side that you're really good at twisting and then look at the way that your hands are moving and mimic exactly that on the same side. You could even twist them in the same direction if you need to. Um, I'm not but I have and it worked for me. <laughs> so look, I'm just pulling that really twice, just twisting it. And then I'm gonna take more hair and I'm just kind of like parting it out, separating it, grabbing it, taking that under piece and bringing it forward while this is going back. And I'm just gonna keep doing that same exact thing. And as much as you can, try to keep your pieces detangled. 
because we want this to be a neat twist out like you saw in the beginning of the video. The more you can keep your sections together the same on the way down, the better. It really don't matter as much what it look like right here. As long as it's flat, that's all that really matters because that's how it's gonna dry. And normally I do this in the shower. <laughs> and the pitch blackness. Does anybody else take a shower in the dark? I take showers in the dark. I love showers in the dark. And I can't see nothing, I'll be having no mirror. Okay, so this is the tricky part. On this side, when I do my right side, the twist can basically stay on its own. And I noticed it's because my hand was twisting this like towards my chest. <laughs> so like when you're twisting, right, like this, and I, if I keep going down like this, it's gonna unravel for some reason. And I didn't know like what the hell was I doing on this side that was making it so right. I was like basically like <laughs> twisting it towards my chest, like down and then down and then down, like curving it towards my chest. I guess my fingers was just doing that on that side and it was making it stay. And I'm like, why is this was not staying? And that was why. So it's kind of like hard. Do your better side first and look at what your hands are doing and then just make your mind and your fingers and your muscles do that same thing on the other side and it will be uniformed and easy and stay. See all this whiteness? That's why we got the towel. And this is also why I rinse it out when I'm done with all my twists when I'm done with all my twists. I rinse out the conditioner and I hold the bottom so that it doesn't unravel, even though I use the, the rods. The rods come in handy, y'all. Don't not use the rods, because I had not used the rods before and it wasn't giving me. It was not giving me. The tricky thing about the rods, though, ow, is that for one. Okay, and then you gotta really like make sure, see, you gotta make sure you're like, rolling it on itself because it will just come right out. And I would say roll it more than you actually want it to be rolled. Put the thing on and it's gonna unravel a little bit more, which is why you wanna do a little bit more of a roll, okay? So yeah, that's the roll, that's the thing, y'all. That's, that's all I do, okay? <laughs> that's literally all I do. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Right? It would be easier for you to go back and forth, like how I'm going back and forth with each side, just to make sure you're gonna get the same exact type of sections. I already feel like I don't have enough hair in this section, but I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> All right, now I'm going back. I'm really pulling it tight because I don't want my roots to be too puffy. It's already gonna be puffy, but you don't want it to be too puffy. I'm just holding it tight while I get the rest of the hair together. brush it if you need to. I find that doing twists looks cuter on me than a braid out and it's easier in my opinion to do a twist out than it is to do a braid out. So now we have lift off and I'm just gonna twist this down but make sure keep it neat. Twisting on down and like I said I do this in the shower dripping wet hair and when I'm done I rinse all of this out like all of it. Roll it on top of each other. Hair is laying on itself. Roll it more than you would actually like to. Because it is gonna come. They are kind of le leaning around the same area, so that makes me happy. Even though this one, I have more hair from a little bit behind my ear. Go back to the other side. See how I got this middle section right here? Like, that's like, that's gonna be a problem if I leave it like that. So, I'm basically gonna half this. This, we save in it to match this other half and it's gonna be like twisted together just so there's no harsh center part. Y'all already seen me twist. So with that being said, most importantly in the root area, just make sure it's flat. I can't see. It's normally how it goes. See how my hand keeps tucking this like that? I guess like that's the secret. Like <laughs> that'd be making the twist stay. Like it'd be making the twist so pretty. And I'm not gonna show y'all me doing the rest, y'all. Y'all, I'm literally doing the same thing. I'm just gonna combine that middle section and then I'm gonna show y'all like what it looked like after. Cause you get it. You're not stupid. Yeah. I do have two more rods left. So what I could do is 
do a top one and a bottom one. Like it feel like it's too thick of like amount of hair. Even though the back don't really matter. Mm. Don't really matter I finally got a haircut. I'm gonna put the picture right here. It was on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it. But yeah, I cut my hair. I finally went to go see Queen. Look at that line, the precision. She did a good job. All right, uh, this is gonna be challenging. Oh, see? You see how the twist is coming? I didn't do the thing. See? You see? No, we can't. We can't. I, we can't. I, I'll be back. I, I'm gonna fix it. I did it. Got it skinny. Got it neat. And I did one like that. So now I just have to do this as an individual twist. And I hope for the best. Yeah. So like I said, we're renting the conditioner out tonight in the shower, which means I'm gonna have to come back in the morning when it's dry. I also have a hood dryer. You can use a hood dryer just so that we can make sure that it's dry because you do not do all this work for nothing. And you do not want to take this out if it's wet. It will revert. It will be fluffy. It will not be that cute. So, here's what we ended up with. We got one, two, three, four, and then five, six. All right, so I will see you in the morning. I just broke my mirror, taking my freaking phone off this goddamn tripod. I just got this mirror. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, you guys, so, I'm gonna turn off my heater because they, they be having the AC blastings. Okay, so, as you can see, I am back. It is the next day, my hair is dry. I did sleep with the bonnet on last night and I did rinse out all the excess conditioner. Um, only thing is I did it at eight o'clock last night instead of as soon as I got home, which means it wasn't all the way dry in the morning, which means when I woke up and did my little wake and bake with my coffee, um, I had my hooded dryer with me like this. I'm gonna put a clip right here for you to see. I did use my hooded dryer. I will leave it linked below. Really good, really great. The only thing I don't like about that hooded dryer is you can't lift the front part up. It will turn off if you lift it up, which is like, I'd be hot. It's the summertime, like girl. So anyway, um, one of the things did come out, but I didn't put it back in because it still kind of gave, you know, twisted ends. But yes, these are my twists, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to light my candles. Oh my God, what am I doing? Guys, look at my little lighter. It's like, yes, get you one of these. Um, yeah, it just lights like that. But yes, this is super cute. I will also leave this linked below along with these links below because I know not everybody lives by a cool beauty supply store like I do. So if you don't want to go anywhere, you can just get it delivered to your door. These are literally only a couple bucks and it comes with a whole pack. Um, but I also wanted to share, I'm going to be using this to take out my twist. This is a hair serum, MKS Eco um, product. I got sent this along with a bunch of other products that were from Earthly Body. And I guess this is another brand that's on Earthly Body's website. Um, highly recommend. I love this serum. I use this on fire hair. Um, I use this in wet hair. I use this whenever, just whenever. It's amazing. They also have an amazing, amazing, the best, actually the best detangler I ever tried was from this brand right here. And if you go to my Instagram reel, and that one right there, <laughs> that one is, I use that in this video and it's amazing. So I'm gonna use that serum on my fingers, front and back, in between, on the thumbs, all the way around. You don't need to put it all over your hands, just every which way where your uh, fingers are gonna be touching. So. We're gonna take out this one. And as much as you can help it, you wanna keep it in the pieces that you twist them in. That's why it helps to kind of do it neat. Because then I stretch it, you see, like I stretch it and then I kind of just 
take that piece out then I stretch it again and I just kind of take that piece out and I stretch it again whatever's kind of like coming away by itself when I stretch it then that's how I separate thing about the flat twists the they kind of ungroup themselves on the ones that are still flat to your head which is easier for you you know for separating but keep everything together as much as you can I'm just separating that like that and like that and like that oh that goes that way just make sure you look at it so that you don't end up with too much frizz. The way that this separates like that, I kind of just pick these up and I just put them over there, you know, so that it doesn't look too parted. But this is just only first day here. It's going to fluff up and I won't even have to worry about what's laying where. This is just first day because I'm not going to separate it too much because I want it to last a long time. So I do less to it at first and then be just and stuff later but yes i still have um, i should put some more serum all over my fingers and then um yes so you see how the flat twist is like it's already kind of separated that's the hair that i had grabbed all right so like i said how this is separated here i kind of just break them apart and then i put it i just put it back <laughs> And then I do the same thing with the upper pieces. I just place them where I want them to be. So, boom. Now we're gonna do this one. I can't see and I don't wanna make this too frizzy. This was the one that was super hard for me to do in the middle and the back. So all the little chunks aren't as even because I was just grabbing what I could when I could. So that just goes to show, do it as neat as possible so that you don't run into areas like this. Also do it smaller because I do feel a little bit of wetness just in the roots. So this is one side. All done. Now I'm gonna do this one right here. Put a little bit more serum. That's also why I love this serum because you can never have too much, even on flat ironed hair. It does not weigh my hair down. You could also do this with oil on your fingers too. I would just make sure you're using an oil that you know your hair likes because some people have really, really thin, fine hair and oil weighs it down and looks get really be deceiving. Um, learn that so see what happens when you don't do it neat gotta be more careful separating that's not my good side even though it's my left side i'm left-handed but hey right way are you left-handed or right-handed see the frizz is beginning already because i didn't take that out so neat i'm gonna do the last one is the twist out i love this side see how that little that's so cute i like this side better because i did it neater and this side did not come out that great because i didn't do it as neat but you see what i mean when you do it neat when you don't do it neat you have to do more to take it down and the pieces don't group together and if you break it up too much too, you can get this problem, but it's still cute. I just favor this side more because, you know, but I like this way with no product because, you know, it's more fluffy. Obviously you can get fluff with other products as well. Movement, I mean, with other products as well. This is a twist out everyone. All right, let me do an intro before I run out of space again. What's with this side? I want this side to look a little bit better. Oh man, this little scraggly twist. That's a bummer. Anyways, it's still cute though. It's still cute though. I love this side. This side came out good. All right, let me do an intro. All right, you guys, so that is the tutorial all done. I hope you like it. I hope you got some tips and tricks. And if you like this video and you like me, 
and my personality. Make sure you subscribe and turn your post notifications on so that you will be notified every single time I upload a video straight to your phone. Because I want y'all to watch right away when I upload. YouTube likes that too. Make sure you do those things and comment below in the video what hair style or tutorial I should try or do next. Because I have a few. So yeah, subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.